So this is gonna be a fun hour of cooking, and this hour is really dedicated to the home cook, you and me. You don't have to be a chef to uh, be able to put food on the table for yourself and for your family, but you do want really good quality materials. And we've got it in this hour. Uh, we have food and wine for you. And take a look, this is coming up in just a few moments. This is the two-piece electric spice mill set. I cannot stress enough how much you're gonna love having these because it's, it's a one push button operation. You can use one hand to do it. You can adjust the coarseness for the cut, the, how coarse you want your pepper to be or your salt to be or whatever seasoning you're using. It's a ceramic burr uh, grinder so that they're not going to rust. You've got a light so you can see exactly how much food uh, or how much you're seasoning your food. And I like that it is adjustable so that you can make, I like a coarse ground pepper. You might too. You can do it with that. And that one's coming up in just a few moments. But first off, before we actually maybe, you know, physically cook anything, let's start off with the appliance that we all use so much and that is the microwave. And I wanna ask you, what are you using in your microwave to, whether it's cover your food or, or what have you, is it plastic? We have, from Cucina Safe, we have a better option. We have the microwave plate cover, and, and you can see that one is on the far left, or we have the two vented lids. There's nine inch and there's an eight inch. And we're gonna show you, if you don't have those, you're gonna see something that's familiar that what you're probably doing. I gotta tell you, this is a better option. And Stephanie Roberts is joining us this morning to give us the details. Absolutely. So this is high quality borosilicate glass because mm -hmm. what have most of us been using in our microwaves? All right, be prepared to be a little grossed out. Have you seen that in your home? You know, the veggies that are smashed <laughs> yeah. down with that plastic oh, wrap juice. and yeah, juice running out. Okay, this is how many of us have been cooking in our microwave, right? Yeah. You put the food on a plate, you cover it with some plastic of some sort and <laughs> off you go. Well, couple things wrong with this. Number one, totally unappetizing. Number two, how many times have you heard we should not put plastic in the microwave. Yep. There are lots of health reasons why the heat, not something we wanna do, mm -hmm. so stop doing it. This is the way to stop doing it. Use a vented glass lid. These are coming to us from Kachina Safe. What makes this special is the quality of the glass. This is commercial grade glass. It is serious heavy glass called borosilicate glass. This is actually the same kind of glass that those measuring cups you probably use are. Yeah. Your grandma probably had all the dishes yes. made of this glass, so why did we stop? up buying it. Right. Well, the reason is it's really expensive to produce. Mm -hmm. So fortunately, Kachina Safe has come up with this great way to make both a cover and cook, so Which we can use that as a cover, or mm -hmm. we can turn it over, you're doing a great job hand yeah. modeling for me, as a two-quart casserole <laughs> dish. Yeah. So everything you're seeing is multifunctional. Mm -hmm. These lids you get in an eight or a nine inch lid. They are vented, you can see the little holes there, that allows the steam to escape so that I can do the cooking. And then also, I can plop these down, use them as a trivet, Perfect. I can cover my pot with it. Yeah. They were made with these concentric circles here so they don't slide all around in the microwave. That's good. Every little thing possible yeah. so that we stop using this. <laughs> do you have things that look like this in your home, those nasty plastic yeah. containers? Why do we still have these? Mm -hmm. I'm guilty too until I found this. There is a better way, and I will tell you, these sell out every time we bring these in. Every time, every visit, they sell out. And if you haven't had a chance to get them yet, now is your time, because take a look at this. This is how you're going to use the lids. Look at that. And wouldn't you rather have gorgeous, green, crisp vegetables safely cooked with a nice glass lid, vented so that I don't get any mush from them? And nice. it doesn't matter whether you're taking frozen vegetables, whether you're cooking fresh vegetables. I love to buy these, and I'm not gonna apologize for it, right? I'm a busy working mom. I'm, I don't spend a lot of time cooking and prepping. Don't have a sous chef at home. So I don't have to cook in this, though. Right. And I think that's where we all think, oh, well, you know, we'll just, you know, what does it say, steam in bag? Yeah. Do not steam in bag, mm -hmm. steam in bowl and use a glass lid yeah. instead because the point is just to get the steam. I want the fresh vegetables, right. but I want them cooked safely. So that's yes. just one of the many things that we can do with the lids. Okay. Now that's the one option, the eight and nine inch lids. The cover and cook I use honestly on top of my plates. Good. So I can make something, you can honestly do a whole dozen strips of bacon. These are bacon wrapped Brussels sprouts. Mm. But do you see how the lid itself fits on top of the plate? Yeah. So that is my cover and cook. Okay. Here is how I want my leftovers or when I'm reheating dinner for hubby yeah. to be presented. Here is what most of us are guilty of doing. <laughs> okay, numerous problems here. I Plastic wrap smashed on top of my food is by no means attractive or probably a good health choice. Right. But I'm about to lose all the good stuff. Yes. The cheese, the yeah. sauce. I don't want 
to lose all the good stuff. Right. So what I like about the cover and cook is that, you know, how many different times do you have to put food on the table for your family? Mm -hmm. I make a pot of something, you dish out plates, throw it in the fridge, right? Mm -hmm. Kids right. come home late, right. husband comes home late. You cover it, you put this in the microwave, yeah. and you're good to go. And you're done, and that's the deal. And the thing is, we're going to use our microwave anyway. We, we're going to use that convenience, but we want to be smart about it. And we've learned over the years that putting plastic in the microwave and heating it up to who knows what temperature is just not the smartest decision that we could make. This is the way to go. And what I like about these is unlike the plastic, you don't have to rebuy this over and over and over. You buy it once and you're gonna have it and you're gonna continue to use it. So if you like the cover and cook, the idea of having this over a lid, over your plate, then go ahead and get this one. If you like the eight and nine inch lids, you can get those. If you're saying, wait a minute, I could use both? Get both. Well, you can, and what I like about this is this is heirloom quality glass. So cover and cook, now I'm cooking. I turned this over and I am using it as a casserole dish. Oh, and honestly, I think it is beautiful. It is a two quart casserole dish. And by the way, I just use my lid as, <laughs> as a, a trivet. trivet. So everything here is very, very multifunctional. And that's important to me. You know, I wanna get the value for my dollar. Mm -hmm. But what I like about the value of this glass is that you're making an investment in smarter cooking choices and honestly, easier cooking choices. But this is such high quality stuff. This isn't going anywhere. You know, you buy these lids, you'll be able to pass these lids down, not like the plastic that we should throw out probably every time we use it. Correct. So you're making an environmentally green decision too. So mm -hmm. it's all a feel good thing to think about. Absolutely. What I like about the cover and cook as a casserole dish is it's got this scalloped edge, which obviously makes it look very cute and fun and just yeah. a nice presentation. But that same scalloped edge is what helps the heat and the steam escape mm -hmm. when I'm reheating my food. See, I want just enough steam to escape mm -hmm. so that I don't end up with any pops. Yeah. You know, how many times have you done the pasta in the microwave and had and to clean it off the entire microwave? Mm -hmm. But the way it is shaped also allows the moisture to rain back down on the food. Right. So I'm not drying out my food. I'm letting just enough steam escape. And by the way, I get a cute little decorative scalloped edge it, yeah. for when I use it as a casserole dish. So it literally passes. every little thing has been thought of. A female entrepreneur created these. And I love the fact that she created them for her own health reasons. Mm -hmm. She wanted to eliminate heating plastic as part of her world, mm -hmm. but then she realized all the different things that these can be used for. Right. I keep mine right next to my microwave in yeah. the cupboard, and every time I go to heat something, I grab a lid and I put it on. Or if I'm reheating a plate, now I grab the cover and cook. Yeah. It has changed the way I feed my kids. Okay. I feel good about this as a mom. Again, busy working mom syndrome. You know they sell these cute little sandwiches that yeah. come in plastic wrap. I didn't particularly feel bad about it because if I can't make you a great out-the-door breakfast, at least I know you're getting a good protein source, mm -hmm. right? Right. Well, look what the protein source is being cooked in. I know. I know. Okay, so I feel a little bad about that now. Here's a great solution. We can take an egg. We can put it in just a regular old bowl, right? Everybody has one of those. Yeah. I'm going to cover it with my lid. Watch okay. what I can do in under a minute. So okay. I've got teenage boys. They don't want to be cooking. Yeah. Trust me, I don't want them cooking. Not at <laughs> 7 o'clock in the morning. Something bad will happen. Anybody can hit one minute on the microwave and yeah. make an egg. Make your own egg sandwich. Uh -huh. Why do I want to go ahead and cook it in plastic? Right. These are easy solutions. It is because the thing is we were always going for convenience and like you said yes. there are, there are a thousand reasons of why convenience is necessary in our lives. But I would rather have something that is better for me and can still be convenient for me as I press the button on the microwave. And that's what you're looking at here. And that's why these sell out every time because we know we need to make a better choice and this allows us to easily make a better choice without ever having to think about it. You, you, Stephanie said she leaves these um, the lids next to her microwave. I leave them in the microwave. Yeah, good so idea. that when I go in, I just choop, choop, put it on top, close the button, uh, you know, close the door and press the button. And that's the deal. You don't have to make any extra room for it and breakfast is done. And breakfast is done. <laughs> I did that for 45 seconds. So again, I threw an egg in a bowl, a couple drops of water. I covered with my lid. Yeah. I heard a couple pops in there, but that's okay because I was venting my steam and there I am good to go. I mean, how much better do I feel about this as breakfast? Yeah. As, whoop, oh, uh -oh. I'm sliding it all over. So you can see it's very nonstick well, too. Well, it's a fresh egg. It is know? a very it, fresh this egg. This one probably doesn't move if you, if you paid it. And by the way, that's how <laughs> breakfast goes in my house when I'm cooking with one eye open. But <laughs> right. the point of the matter is, I can handle that 45 seconds yeah. because convenience is key. But guess what? Convenience isn't everything. Health is. Yeah. So this is yes. a really good solution about how I can be healthy, I can be convenient, I can do it all at the same time. For sure. Now, Fun is important too, okay? Yeah. And dessert and cakes are fun. But 
having time to bake cake, doing all that, sometimes it's a little hard. I have learned from the creator, Susan, that you can bake an amazing cake in the microwave. It's hard. This was done in three minutes. Yeah. She inverted a little glass in the middle because that helps us with release and okay. also keeps the cooking even throughout the center. We get the venting that we need, yeah. but to be able to cook a cake in minutes in the microwave, oh my gosh. isn't that cool? I think and it's, it's a really neat, it's so, yeah. you can see it, and it's moist because we're releasing just enough steam through the vented lids, but we're allowing the steam and the moisture from the, that we need yeah. to stay in there. So again, just the whole design concept. You can go from one thing to the other. I want to take a quick look down here because we've kind of laid out all the different things that the lids work on. Okay. You're boiling something on the stove. Can you ever find the right pot Never. for the right pan and the right lid for the go with them? Yeah. I, and I'm usually boiling something over while I'm under the counter looking, looking for, for it. Lid, yeah. This has solved all of my problems. These sit, again, in that counter right next to my stove and my microwave. Mm -hmm. Now when I start boiling rice or whatever, I grab my lid. I'm warming soup. Mm -hmm. it, inevitably, I'm going to walk away and it's going to splash everywhere. Yeah. Just keep it right there. Again, it's going to vent what it needs oh, to. Yes. You didn't realize all the reasons you need this yeah. until you start using them. Yeah, it's sure. perfect for reheating all the leftovers. As we said, look at all the moisture oh, that. that's in there. I want that moisture. Yeah. I want that moisture to keep my food steamy and wonderful. I don't want it dry and rubbery. When things get dry and rubbery in the microwave, it's because we've sucked all the moisture <laughs> out of them. Yes. So what the cover and cook does is it keeps just enough moisture in. And again, that slotted edge helps the steam escape so okay. I have the perfect leftovers with that it really is when you start putting that lid mm -hmm. look at this you can move you can make popcorn I can fit it on this bowl okay. I can fit it on that bowl I can reheat my coffee I yeah. probably use the smaller one for that but the sizes are such that they go with absolutely everything the rings there help keep it from sliding all around mm -hmm. and no matter what this can go anywhere I need it to yes what I like also it can go right in the refrigerator. So if I've made something earlier in the day, yeah. I slide it in the fridge, yeah. and I can slide it in the oven. So I'm gonna make one more trip to okay. the oven. We're gonna do that. And, and so think, a refrigerator, oven, microwave, table. I mean, it's gone everywhere, and it's the same item. It is the same thing. Take a look at this. What do you, oh, look what what's coming out. So is this is a cauliflower pizza. And by the way, these recipes are on hsn.com okay. with this product. Because again, the, the inventor, Susan, has done just a great job with some healthy recipes. Okay. I'm going to put this down because now I'm using my lid as my trivet. Cauliflower? And yes, because again, we're watching our carbs. Maybe we're making gluten-free choices. Yeah. A cauliflower pizza crust and then, of course, with sauce. And I'm a pepperoni girl, so there's our topping. <laughs> but again, we baked this in the cover and cook. Now, what I like is that I could have made this tonight, yep. Sunday night for Monday, yep. right? Mm -hmm. The night before, mm -hmm. put it in the fridge, gone to work, come home, and we don't have a lot of things that you can take from the refrigerator and pop them into the oven without them cracking in half. That's right. This is the difference with borosilicate glass. It is temperature sensitive, it is temperature safe, mm -hmm. so that you can do all these things. I can cover my kids' meals and then slide it right into the microwave, fridge yeah. to microwave, fridge to oven. Yeah. It can handle it all. This is a workhorse. And you never have to worry about it. And that's the thing, you buy this once and you're not having to rebuy this every six months um, like you would with plastic. You're not having to wonder, uh-oh, Ken, is that microwave safe? Is that gonna be okay? Because you know it will be. It's the same glass that in many of our microwaves, the, the little roundabout, um, turntable turn mm -hmm. is made of the exact same glass, but you have it where you can cook, you can cover, you can do all of it. So this is called the cook and cover right here. Yes. And then if you want the lids, you're getting both of them, the eight, the eight inch, inch and the nine inch. And if you want both sets, Go ahead and do them because you've got free shipping. You've got it on flex pay for just under $10. And you never have this And you this don't want to ever see this again. Remember, glass doesn't come out looking like this. Plastic yeah. does. Absolutely. Let's be done with the plastic. For sure, Stephanie. Thank you. Good to see you. As always, Stephanie always brings us things that can make life even easier easier, even more convenient and quicker. So thank you. We appreciate that. And you can stay on the phone or jump on hsn.com and follow suit with a lot of people who are already there. Now, speaking of hsn.com, we're talking cooking in this hour, but maybe jewelry is your thing. Um, we've got Bali designs um, for you and we're highlighting the beautiful oval gemstone sterling silver cuff bracelets that are uh, your choice there on hsn.com. Those are customer picks as well. So if you love your jewelry um, and you love your Bali designs, take advantage of that New Year's price. Wow, it's about $100 off. And we also have more jewelry coming up next hour because Carol Brody's here with Rarities. Now, Monday night, that means Adam Freeman. Take a look at this.
up the ante on Monday and watch the Monday Night Show. Join Adam for a night full of exciting new items just in time for the new year. And check out the latest innovation from this week's American Dreams Entrepreneur. Tune in tonight at 7. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. My name is Justin Chappell. I am the culinary director for Food & Wine. Food & Wine is the ultimate authority in the best of what's new in food and drink, travel, design, and entertaining. When it comes to preparing food at home, it should always be adventurous and exciting and fun, but not intimidating. It's that philosophy of cooking that inspired us when creating this cookware line with HSN. Well, you heard him, adventurous and fun, but not intimidating. And that is what you're going to see for the rest of this hour. Food and wine is where we're dedicating this hour here at HSN. And Justin Chappell is joining us. Um, and it is so great that you're here with us. Um, you've probably seen him um, in, in his series that he does for food and wine. Maybe you've picked up his book. If you haven't, definitely do it because these are all hand signed. This is the first book. And I know that in cooking... Um, in addition to having the right tools, it's about flavor and how you flavor your meals. And that's how we're gonna get started today. Absolutely, with mm -hmm. our With our, you can see our brand new two-piece electric spice mill set. You're getting both of those. I love the way that they even come packaged. And you're getting both of them for three flex payments of $9.98. One button and you're done. One button, and as you can see, it has the food and wine stamp of approval on it right here. Mm -hmm. And that is literally the only button you'll need to press. Okay when you want to use it. Yeah. So of course you just push it and there you go. You can see all that beautiful salt come out there. But let me just give you a really quick tour of this. Okay. Um, so as you can see, it's a stainless steel uh, body, which is not only super durable, but it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And stainless steel, as you might know, goes with pretty much anything in your kitchen. Right. Um, but then there's a couple things. And as you can see, the, we left the capsule clear so you can see what's in it and how much you've got. Mm -hmm. um, but then I want to show you the bottom here. So there's a few things to point out really quickly. We, you can see the little white disc in there. That is the ceramic grinding plate. Okay. Now, I'm going to come back to why that's important in just a minute. But then you can see this little screw here, which is actually what you're going to use to adjust the grind. Okay. The level of coarseness. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to press the button here. You can see, you see the little light there? Yeah. That's a little LED light so you could see when you're seasoning things. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if you're seasoning uh, the inside of a chicken or fish yeah. or anything like that, you need to get a little light in there, Absolutely. Right? So you can see exactly how much you have. You're getting two of these, and they're both exactly the same. It's not one is for salt and one is for pepper. Because you can control how coarse or fine you want it to be. So, it, so you can decide um, what it's going to be. Exactly, and I just want to show you here. So this is my three grind tests that I like to talk about here. <laughs> okay. The first one here, as you can see, is very fine. I call this the kid-friendly grind. Okay. Because you can put pepper in anything. You can put it in your mac and cheese. You can put it in the chili mac. You can put it pretty much anything and the kids won't know. All right. So you're making yourself happy and you're making your kids happy. And then of course you got your medium grind and then I have it on the coarsest setting here where you know you might want to make your steak a poivre mm -hmm. or you might want to make some pepper steak or anything like that. Anything where you want that kind of crunchy mm -hmm. bit. Um, mm -hmm. But then, of course, um, I want to talk about really quickly um, why the ceramic plate. So okay. if I could show you again really quickly in here, if you see that little white disc, I pointed it out once before, that is a ceramic grinding disc. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of competitors out there uh, make them with metal. And mm. the problem with that is that metal, you can't grind salt. I didn't know that. Yes, believe it or not, because the salt will actually corrode the metal grinding plates. Oh. So we thought of everything here. You know, we, we, we decided, you know, as you mentioned just a couple seconds ago, that they, they both do the exact same thing, and that's because we wanted you to be able to use pepper, or we wanted you to be able to use salt. And like I just said, if it was metal grinding plates, you would not be able to do that. That's so interesting that you say that. I grew up with, um, coarse ground, uh, a pepper grinder, and it was always, it was not this, it was always the one where you needed both hands and you needed to kind of get in there. And so if you were trying to cook or stir with one hand, you could 
couldn't do, you couldn't use the pepper grinder in that way. But this is just simple. And it does, it gives you an elevated kind of look to your kitchen. Mm -hmm. But the best part though, is that you can control how much you're seasoning. Unlike if you're just kind of shaking on um, with a regular salt shaker or something like this. This gives you the control, so you never overdo it, and that's the big thing. You can always go back and add more. You can never take away. You can never take away, and that's a really good point. Um, but you know, another really good point, mm -hmm. this is one of the things that we really wanted to make happen when we d developed this set, was um, you could see here, uh, we have this in the little capsule here. I just wanna go ahead and show you, this is not pepper, this is not oh. Salt. Oh. This is coriander seeds oh. and pepper medley, and you have some fennel seeds in here, and you have some caraway seeds in here, and that's because it's a spice mill, and that's why we're not calling it a salt and pepper mill, mm -hmm. because we want to be able to. So this is my, really, it's one of my all-purpose seasonings. So yeah. I got my coriander, I got yeah. my fennel seeds, and I like to use it on steaks, on chicken, or anything. So, and it's funny because that's I bought good. two sets of these. Yeah. I had um, one I intended to gift. <laughs> but then I ended up keeping both sets right. because now I have my salt, my pepper, yeah. I have my Justin spice blend. Yeah. And then of course I have my Himalayan pink salt. Uh-huh. I use that. So what's interesting about that is Himalayan pink salt either comes in really big cubes mm -hmm. or it comes in these little granules. Okay. But the granules need to be ground. Yeah. And believe it or not, Himalayan pink, pink salt is really, really healthy for you. Mm -hmm. It reduces, it helps maintain your blood sugar. Mm -hmm. It um, gives you trace minerals which help you uh, relieve muscle cramps and stuff like that. So if you're looking for that, if you're looking to be a little healthier, switch to Him Himalayan pink salt, but make sure you grab this set of grinders first because you're gonna need it, in other words, Yes. You won't be able to grind you it. You won't be able to, and I love the idea, like you mentioned, you can have your own, because a lot of us, when we cook, we have our own personal, I like these spices together, mm -hmm. and instead of having to have four different spices that you shake a little bit of here, a little bit in there, a little bit in there, you can just create the blend right up front, and you're good. Mm -hmm. And it is, you're putting your own signature on the spice blend, which is great. And you're getting two of these. This is the way that they come packaged. These would make really great gifts, so if you are starting to or know that you've got weddings coming up and mm -hmm. your, or housewarmings and you know you're gonna have to give uh, you know, gifts, this would be a great one to give. They are beautiful, they are that really great housing, so it's a polished stainless steel, which is gonna go really great with the cookware that we have coming up, with the salad spinner that we have coming up. <laughs> so if you like the idea of having just a nice polished look in your kitchen, of course food and wine is definitely the way to go. Right, mm -hmm. and um, as I mentioned, I had bought two sets and then I was gonna gift one, and then I didn't, of course. But <laughs> one of the reasons I did was because it comes in this really beautiful box. Yeah. Which... Yes, I mean, it's just nice. I mean, the it's a really beautiful box. Everything. There's no wrapping required. Right. You could just, and believe it or not, um, forget what you heard. Yeah. It is not time to bring a bottle of wine to a dinner party, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Up your hostess gift game. Yes. Grab one of these sets. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll be the t you'll be the talk of the block. Well, and, de and you'll definitely get invited back. <laughs> you will. And every time the person uses it, they're gonna say they're gonna think of you, and then they're gonna say, you know what? I use that all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. why I didn't have one before. Because these are the kind of things that. It, when you see them, you think, I need one, but it's just, we just don't have them in our kitchens yet. But now yes. you can. Yeah, and so another really great thing about this, and this is my, actually my 100% favorite thing about this set, okay. is the one-handed seasoning. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, we've all been there, and I'm gonna show you right now, because I'm actually gonna swap this out for a chicken. Okay. Because we've all been there, we're making chicken. Yes. You start seasoning it, and then next thing you know, both hands are dirty, and you go to use the pepper mill. Oh. And then you first have to go wash your hands. Yes. Well, forget all that, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. because check this out. Oh, isn't you can, that so You perfect. can turn your bird. It's like, where were you at Thanksgiving? That's yeah, what I exactly. needed, right? When you're trying to get all the little corners of your, of your bird, of yeah. your turkey. But here, you could do it, and you can move it around because you got your one hand. Uh -huh. And you can also do that with your pepper, obviously. Mm -hmm. You could flip it over, and of course you could get the entire inside, and all of this with one hand. And these are, th what's making it work is these are powered by AA batteries, and so that's really mm -hmm. easy when it's time for you to change out the batteries. You don't need some weird battery, it's just a AA battery that you probably have a whole couple packs of at home already. So this is the kind of, like I said, a great tool to bring into your kitchen. I do see a lot of you on the phone, and, and I'm glad about that, but I wanna make sure you go ahead and get these at a New Year's price, because 
today you get $10 off of our regular HSN price. You're getting both of them. They come packaged beautifully. Add whatever spices you want. It doesn't have to be salt. It doesn't have to be pepper. It can be your own spice blend like this. Or it could be Justin's spice blend. Justin's spice. <laughs> so you did peppercorn, coriander. Right, I did a pepper medley to get like you know, to get the pink peppercorn, get the black peppercorn, and then I did coriander seeds, which is one of my favorite things because they're really fruity and flavorful. Yeah. And then I went ahead and put some fennel seeds in there. Oh, nice. And, you know, I I'm keep this in the that. cupboard. Put it, like I said, put it on my steak, put yeah. it on my chicken, and you're put all it on good. my turkey. For sure. Stay on the phone for this one. I know we do have to move on, but this is brand new, and we wanted to make sure that you saw that first. All right, I'm holding on to Justin's first book. He is an author. He's an author times two. His new book is coming out um, later on this spring, but this is the Mad Genius tip. So Mad Genius is... Uh, it is a show that you've done with Food & Wine. Correct, it's a, it's a video series. Mm -hmm. It's full of fun hacks and really delicious recipes. Check it out. And in this book, it, these are um, all hand signed. All hand signed. Happy hacking, <laughs> I My, like that. I had a tired arm after that. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see um, whatever the recipe is, you've got um, over 100 recipes in that book and I know you are going to love that. So definitely enjoy. All right, we're gonna stay in the kitchen, but we've got a lot for you here at HSN. I wanted to share with you that we have, if, if you are looking to upgrade what you've got in the kitchen, we do have up to 30% off um, on much of our cookware, Curtis Stone on hsn.com, and it's very easy for you to shop online, so definitely do that. But we're moving on over, and I mentioned stainless steel on the um, spice grinders stainless steel cookware. And you are getting a 10 piece set, 10 pieces that you're actually gonna use every single day. Um, and I wanna kind of break it down and go through everything that you're gonna get and then I want you to see the food because the food is gorgeous. Oh I mean, is that gosh. not beautiful? I love the way it just kind of released out of the pan. I mean, look how gorgeous this is. It's beautiful, oh it's perfectly goodness. seasonal because you have all that citrus and it literally came out of oh. A stainless, a pan. stainless steel skillet stainless of which you skillet. are getting. So let me share with you what you're going to get. These are all t all of the pieces. Beautiful stainless steel. You've got the copper base. You've got the copper also on the handles, which is going to be gorgeous. So you're going to get two fry pans, a nine and a half inch and a 12 inch fry pan. You can see those right here. You're going to use these every single day. You're going to also get your chicken fryer, which is great. And your chicken fryer comes along with the lid. You'll notice the chicken fryer is a little bit deeper, so you don't have to worry about the oil um, popping out in the same way. So you've got that. You're also gonna get two saucepans. One is one and uh, 1.8 quarts, and one is two and a half quarts, and you can see those there. And they each come with their own lids. And then you get this five and a half quart sawtooth lid, or, Dutch oven, however you want to uh, think about that. But this is one, this is gonna be your workhorse. This is gonna be the one where your soups, your chilies, your stews, your big pots of a pasta sauce. You've got it all right here. So all 10 pieces, and I know you're looking at these and thinking, yeah, I will use those every day. <laughs> and you should use them every day because they are gonna be your workhorses. Mm -hmm. And you know, so Food & Wine has been in the business for 40 years, mm -hmm. as you know. I've been there for eight of those years, and over that time, I've tested hundreds of hundreds upon hundreds <laughs> of sets of pans, as well as um, individual dishes. I mean, yes. look at this, first of all. Look at how I have to stop what I'm sear. saying for one second just to show you how beautiful these steaks look. Yes. I'm gonna add a little pepper here, but yeah, That's you know, the power of stainless steel right there. Totally, because you get all that beautiful color on the food. And so, you know, during our tests of all the different cookware that we've tested, you know, we wanted to include the best in, what, in this line that we created with HSN. Mm -hmm. and so we took all the best features from all the best cookware that we've ever cooked on and we put it here. Wow. And we made it for every day. We made it affordable, which is really important to us. Yeah. And the first and foremost, as you were just talking about, was the stainless steel because stainless steel is the workhorse of a professional kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's the easiest It's the easiest metal to take care of. Mm -hmm. um, believe it or not, it's, so it's non-reactive, so you can cook anything in it, yeah. anything you want. Yeah. Uh, and it's also easy to clean, which hopefully you're gonna see in the next couple of minutes here. Okay. Um, but above, even better than that, we took aluminum and we encapsulated it on the bottom with copper. Okay. So copper and aluminum, believe it or not, are second only to gold. 
Really? In heat in conductivity. Heat. Is that right? Yeah, and heat conductivity is really, it, what it means when we talk about that is fast, even heat. Okay. So it's compatible on a number of stoves. Um, it's oven safe, believe it or not, up to 450 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it can go right from the stove, right into the oven, and then of course the table. It's yep. got the really amazing Y-shaped handle, which is the double riveted handle, which is a stay cool handle. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you're using it on the stove top, you, you know, God forbid you forget your hand towel. Yeah, and We've you- We've all been there. Yes. And look at this. So when you think about from the test kitchens, you, like you said, you have tested, you could probably safely say everything. <laughs> everything. And, and for this to be created from all of that knowledge, I want you to think of it as sort of like the all-star oh of cookware. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at that. That's a lot of mac and cheese. I, I don't know if we got a big enough bowl for this. I know, but it all fit. <laughs> into oh your, your fry pan. Right, so this, I want to, and the reason oh why we gosh. wanted to show this, because I wanted to show you that just our fry pan, our yeah. everyday fry pan, your workhorse fry pan yeah. can hold two pounds of mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. Two whole pounds of mac and cheese. This makes me happy right there. And a couple pounds <laughs> of cheese. That's absolutely. <laughs> and did you notice how it just slid right on out? It was, you know, cooked perfectly. So that's why I say you are going to use these every day. If you start your mac and cheese on the stove top and then you want to take it to the oven to get that nice um, brown top, you can definitely do that because you are looking at something that can go from, just like Justin said, from the stove top to the oven to the table and then you wipe it out and you're ready to go again. It's really that simple. Okay, so I see you're using uh, one of the saucepans here. Oh yeah, so this is our 1.8 quart saucepan, which I love. It's great for it's great for side dishes, it's great for anything. I mean, I'm, I'm making these little uh, boiled potatoes here. I like to boil my potatoes. I drain the water right off when they're tender, put them right back in the pan and they stay hot mm -hmm. because that copper, it retains that heat mm -hmm. for way longer than you'll ever believe. Yeah. So these have been sitting here off with the lid on and okay. they're still and steaming. They're still, I mean, yeah. I don't know if you could see that, but yeah. they're it's... still steaming away. Right. Because and... like, I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna remind you like a hundred times in the next five minutes that yeah. that copper combined with that aluminum gives you that fast, even heat that is unparalleled. It's that tri-ply, it's impact uh, bonded. So you have, when we talk about even heat distribution, you know that that's important if you've ever used a pan and you had, well, the, the middle is hot, but the sides aren't. And you'll notice, mm -hmm. I have a pan at home that was, ex it was an expensive pan, and when I cook bacon, the, mid, the, you know, the bacon in the very middle of the pan gets done and the bacon on the ends doesn't. Right. And so when we talk about even heat distribution, you see the importance of that so that your food comes out the way it's supposed to. What you're looking at here are 10 pieces that you're going to use every single day. This is a New Year's price. So you're saving $50 off of our regular HSN price and you have flex pay. So Oops. if over the holidays you were doing the cooking and you were saying, you know what, I really could use some new cookware. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Well, guess what? You've got an all-star set, easy to use, easy to clean, easy to cook with. No matter what it is you're cooking, you don't have transfer of flavor. So if you put pork chops in one and then you wanna take it out and put, you know, um, boil down some berries, your berries aren't gonna taste like pork. <laughs> right, and you know, I just wanna rem uh, touch on one thing that you had mentioned just a couple seconds ago, and it was about your uneven bacon. Uh -huh. so yeah, let's, uneven bacon. <laughs> it was about your uneven bacon. Yes. I didn't want to talk about that for one second. So, so my sister still uses one of those old school electric stoves with the coil. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. And you know, after three or four years, they start to get hot spots. Yeah. So like one side will be really, really bright red and the other side will be really dark. Yeah. So with the aluminum, with the tri-ply, so you got your stainless with the aluminum center and the copper core, it literally fixes that whole entire problem. Oh. Because it doesn't matter where your heat is coming from under yeah. the pan. Yeah, yeah. So, so it just smooths it out it all the way over. It smooths it out and it, it spreads it evenly and quickly. Oh, so if you're, even if you're using a little tiny burner and you have a skillet this big, yeah. I mean, can you see this? This burner yeah. is not very big, right? Yes. This is like a five inch burner. Right. This is a 12 inch skillet. But look how even my heat is. That's a good point it's too. It's all the way across. Because a lot, on a lot of stoves, like you said, if you do have, I have a glass top stove like this one, and I've got one really big burner, mm -hmm. and the other's a little bit smaller. So exactly. I'm always trying to juggle, well, which pan gets the big burner, you know? Right. Now with this, I don't have to worry about it. Or you're constantly it. moving them back and forth. Yeah. yeah. That's the worst. I know. Okay, look at this. So you did your steaks. I did my steak. You did your, you, you got the potatoes done. Uh -huh. You got the, the peppers done. And now I want to show you 
Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> We're gonna deglaze our pan. Okay. And we got a little red wine for that. So, because I wanna show you how stainless steel really works and why it's important. Because you see all this brown in here? Yeah. That brown is flavor. That's called fond. It's also called the Maillard reaction. It's a very scientific term, but it basically means the proteins caramelize and that's where you get a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. So we're also gonna get a lot of flavor by adding a little ah. Pinot Noir. Well, it is food and wine. <laughs> <laughs> and what's really great about this and why I, why I really, really wanted to show you this, and I actually have a few things that I'm gonna try to deglaze here today, okay. is because not only are we creating a sauce for our beautiful steaks, mm -hmm. gonna shimmy this around a little bit, mm -hmm. but we're also cleaning the pan. Mm -hmm. Because you people freak out and about stainless steel because they think it's difficult to clean, but mm -hmm. it's actually really not difficult to clean. Okay. It's just a matter of, you know, taking care of it properly. Yeah. And taking care of it properly just means making delicious food. Make it, Because right. look at that. Look at that. And, and while it's still hot, do you see how easy that's to use while it's mm -hmm. still hot? So if the only thing that was keeping you away from this set is, it, am I gonna be able to clean it very easily? Well, now you have no obstacle. Now you mm -hmm. saw how easy and how quick and learn how to make a really great glaze as well. Exactly, in the a really wonderful wine sauce. Mm -hmm. And as you saw, it was just wine and butter. Yep. Wine and butter makes yep. a delicious wine sauce. And you, oops, almost lost my whisk there. <laughs> um, but another thing to point out is, as you can see, what am I using in this pan? Yeah, metal. Metal, and I'm scraping it, I'm scratching it, I'm getting all those little brown bits up using a metal whisk. When was the last time you were ev ever able to do that in a nonstick pan? You can't do it, you, you absolutely, can't. that's and rule we, number and one. And we were talking before the show, and I was, I was saying, one of the worst things that could ever happen is to use a nonstick pan and to scrape that surface off. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then next thing you know, you're eating the little bits of the nonstick coating. Yeah. It and tastes metallic. It. That's right. And at that point, that pan is unusable. But with this, mm -hmm. there's a reason why in every kitchen, in every restaurant, the chefs are cooking with stainless steel because mm -hmm. it's durable. Well, you've got the even heat con conductivity, but it's durable. You can't destroy this. And look at that. There's your glaze. There's your sauce. I'm You've got a clean it. pan, and you're ready to go again. We got it. We're gonna have a cleaner pan in a second. Watch this. I just want to give my give my house guests a little red wine on their steak there before they eat it. And then I just want to show you really quickly because you saw that I deglazed that pan, so I made a sauce. Yeah. I made our meal even more delicious than it possibly could be. Yeah. And check this out. Look at that. It's just. I mean, I'm ruining the, the towel with the red wine, but. but that's okay, the pan <laughs> is Because this is television, it's all about just showing you, I just wanna show you, look at this. Look at that, and then you're ready to go again, and it's perfectly clean. It's clean, it's shiny. Yes, and you're ready to go, and this is the deal too. Let's talk again, because I wanted to show you, when we talk about the even conductivity, it is because of the way this is made, mm -hmm. with that stainless steel. It is that tripod ply copper base, as you can see right there on the bottom. We mentioned it's compatible with, with the stoves, as you see right there, the ones that we use most often. Oven safe up to 450 degrees. You talked about the double riveted stainless steel handles because it stays cooler to the touch. They're, they're lighter weight. They're stronger. Your handles aren't gonna come popping off like, you know, in, in pans of old. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you have stainless steel, aluminum, and copper mm -hmm. all together. Exactly, and like I said earlier, in our in our in all the years that we've been a brand, and I've been there for eight of those years, which is, in my opinion, a pretty big chunk of 40. Mm -hmm. We've learned that you want the stay cool handles with the Y shape. Mm -hmm. You want the stainless steel body, you want the aluminum, you want the copper, yeah. because as I mentioned, copper and aluminum are second only to Gold. Gold. <laughs> gold. And until we have gold pans, which I don't see those coming anytime soon, um, this is going to be, like I said, it's your all-star set. You can go straight to the oven, and, and you can see Justin is pulling out that sautuse pan, which is, oh, is that the, uh, yeah, like your Dutch oven. Your Dutch oven. Yeah. Look at I'm gonna that. I'm going to put it right here because I'm going to show you something. We used a little more red wine today. Okay. <laughs> well, it is For food wine. A bouffe bourguignon. <gasps> Right? Oh my gosh. So you can channel so channel your inner Julia Child yes. or Jacques Pepin and make bouffe bourguignon because you have this amazing pan that's the perfect size for it. Yeah. So the best part about it, which you obviously you can't see here, but yeah. I first did all my veg on the stovetop. Yeah. So I sauteed my onions, sauteed my carrots, got all that, all my veg nice and tender, mm -hmm. browned the meat in there added the red wine, covered it, put a lid on it, popped it in the oven. It's been in the oven for about three hours, and oh so now it comes right to the table. Gosh, it is perfect. And, it, and because it's so gorgeous, yeah. you put it right on the table. 
Yes. You, put, you just put a serving spoon in it, which I'm going to do just in case you want to try it. Okay. Oh, absolutely. And then there you go. And there, and that's it. And that is included. This pan is included with your 10-piece set. And that's why I said when we first started, these are 10 pieces that you're actually going to use every day. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be something that you're thinking, okay, yeah, I like that pan, but only, you know, when I've got a, a huge number of people coming over for the holidays. You're going to use these every day. You're getting two fry pans, the nine and a half inch as well as the 12 inch fry pans, these right here. And this is the one that Justin used for the steaks and the peppers right there. You're getting two of the sauce pans. This is gonna be your 1.8 um, quart and then you have your two and a half quart with the lids, mind you. You're also going to get your chicken fryer, and that's the one that we've got right here with the lid. And you get that Dutch oven, that sauteuse pan. It's five and a half quarts. It's not as tall as your typical Dutch oven, but it's wider. And I, for that reason, I think it's easier to kind of, um, you know, easier to kind of work with, especially if you, when you're cleaning it, when you're washing it, when you're putting it under the sink and running water underneath it. So it's really, really a really great set, the all-star set from Food & Wine. And when we talk about from the stovetop to the oven, Ooh, that We're looks also amazing. talking about dessert. Let me see. I need a fork. I <laughs> we need are a fork. also talking about dessert because while you were just showing Ooh. what you get, Ooh. I'm showing you what you're going to get after dinner. Oh, wow. And this is a s'mores bread pudding. <laughs> s'mores bread pudding made with chocolate cake and delicious evaporated milk, and you have your marshmallows, and you have your chocolate, and you have your graham crackers. Wow. And I'm telling you, what's yeah. so great about it is you put it all in the pan. Yeah. It's the perfect size for dessert. You pop it in, it's just like a cake pan. Oh and then you bring gosh. it right to the table at the end of dinner. Oh my and goodness. And you scoop right out. And just, I want to point out one other thing because it's right over here. Yeah. Do you see what's in that? The, the, uh, the chicken and... That is a five and a half pound chicken. Wow. In our large skillet. So not only does your workhorse skillet give you yes. your stir fries and your strip steaks and your pork chops, but you can roast a whole chicken in it. And oh believe it or not, because I've done it, yeah. you can roast a small turkey in it oh, as well. This is so good. It really is. And remember, everything is even. You don't have hot spots and cold spots. You're not, you know, it doesn't matter what surface that you're cooking on. Even if you're cooking on a small eye, it's still going to be nice, even heat all the way underneath. Mm -hmm. This is what you would expect from food and wine. Because, and from the test kitchen, just like when we started off, Justin was saying he has tested and used probably every type of cookware that there is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a lot of good things. There's a lot of, um, you know, pros and cons to everything. I can only think of pros when it comes to this set. I can only think of pros, and part of that is because I'm the one who helped develop these. <laughs> <laughs> but um, really, they are tremendous. Uh, it's a tremendous collection, really. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying that because I'm up here you know, talking about it or because I have, a, you know, I've spent a lot of time working on it. I'm really saying it because it's the type of pans that I want to have at home. Because, mm. like I said, I test so many different... Oh my gosh, I forgot the chocolate sauce. Mm. There was supposed to be chocolate sauce on our s'mores. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Because you can make chocolate sauce in our 1.8 quart saucepan. Mm. Mm. Look at this. Mm. Oh my gosh, it check that so out. Good. I'm going to drizzle it right over here. Okay, please do. Come and grab this. I'm going to hit it right on the s'mores. Mm. Look at that. Oh my god, and that's not going to stick. No, it's not going to stick at all because you're just going to wipe it out after. And check this out. You have, wow. I mean, I think I have a little too much chocolate sauce. No, but there's no such thing. No such thing. <laughs> there's no such thing. <laughs> I want you to see the way your pans are made again because this is important to really, you know, kind of set it apart from everything else. Right, definitely. And so, you know, we obviously included the stainless steel body because it's the workhorse of the kitchen with the tri-ply. We got the aluminum. We got the copper core, which gives you that fast, even heat. It goes from the stove top to the oven up to 450 degrees. And then, of course, it goes right to the table. Wow. You got the double riveted handle, which is going to keep it really strong and sturdy. Mm -hmm. um, and also it has that stay cool handle. Don't forget that. Wow. And one of the things I forgot to mention was it goes right into the dishwasher. Yes. <laughs> so it goes you. stove top to the oven, to the table, and then right into the dishwasher. You cannot beat it. You, you really can't read all it. 10 pieces. This is the only time that you're going to see this aired today. And I do want to make sure that you get it because this is going to be great if it's, if it's just you, maybe you cooking for your spouse. Or maybe Ooh. you do have a house full of people that you need to cook for. This is everything that you need. And we're showing you some kind of things that you're going to do every day, some more special occasion kind of things. It doesn't matter what it is. This is going to be great for you. You're no transfer of flavors. 
So whether you're putting, you know, savory in, and then right after that, you're gonna put something sweet in, it's gonna be perfect for you. Mm -hmm. I know that we do have to move on, and I wish we could stay here because the food just looks amazing, but your food is gonna look just as amazing. So stay on the phone for yours, or you can go to hsn.com and enjoy the fact that you are getting that for a New Year's price. Um, and you're getting $50 off on that. Now, we've got up to 30% off on Wolfgang Puck if you check hsn.com right now, and a lot of you are shopping with us on hsn.com, so be sure to really take, you know, this time to outfit your kitchen for 2018. All right, we started off with stainless steel. We're gonna keep talking about stainless steel. Of course. And this time, with a salad spinner. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking, okay, hmm, I've seen those plastic, those white plastic salad spinners. Yeah, that's not this. No, 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 <laughs> no. This is this the way is the food and wine does it. I mean, we, I mean, we just talked about stainless steel for 15 minutes mm -hmm. because we love stainless steel. And check this out. So I just wanna show you. So this is our um, salad spinner. Yeah. So I call it, we're calling it a salad spinner so that you know what it is. But believe it or not, I really wanted to call this the everything spinner. Okay. They wouldn't let me call it the everything spinner, but it is an everything <laughs> spinner and I'm gonna show you why. This yeah. is gonna change your life. Okay. And, and the first thing we're gonna talk about is kale or bagged lettuces mm -hmm. um, because we all buy them. Mm -hmm. It's super convenient, yeah. but believe it or not, you really actually do need to wash them. Okay. And that's what a lot of people don't realize uh, because even though it's bagged and even though it says that it's clean, mm -hmm. you would be so shocked at how much remains on the lettuce. Mm. So this is one of the great things. Um, I'm just gonna show you how this works. So we have our little basket here, right? And we have our stainless steel bowl. So I use the basket as a colander. So I'm gonna go right over to the sink. Okay. I'm gonna rinse my kale off, you know, if you have a sprayer, use a sprayer. I, I like to use this little four finger trick. <laughs> so you get okay. the little spray going. Rinse it off really well. Mm -hmm. Of course you could do this in a really big bowl or your stainless steel bowl. And then you just pop it right back into the uh, spinner. And then you're gonna go ahead and put your lid on it. And the reason why you wanna talk about washing your bag lettuces is because so I work with a lot of different lettuces. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes you just get a little extra grit. Mm -hmm. And the grit could just be really unappealing. It's not gonna harm you. Yeah. It's not right. bad for you, but it's just right. it doesn't taste good. Yeah. yeah. It's a weird feeling. And so you could see this. I'm talking and I'm so I'm talking, I'm not distracted, but all it takes is just a little That's finger. So you can do it with one finger. Yeah. Two fingers if you want. Okay. But it really doesn't take much. So you just spin it, mm -hmm. and then of course you can put it down, put your little lever clip, and then you stop it. So it has this really amazing little stopper button here. Nice. And it says stop, just to remind you. Okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it again just to show you. Mm -hmm. So you spin it, Okay. clip it shut, and then you just hit your little stopper button. Wow. And then there you go. And then you have this beautiful, dry. Dry, not so wet. That you've washed. Wet. And then I just like to take out our little. Look how much water and was watch left in how there. much water comes out of here. Yeah. And so, and that's the deal. Yeah. And and so that's why I see why you wanted to call this everything because that's probably the first thing you're gonna use it for. But do you see how this is 6.8 quarts? Mm -hmm. This is big. So not only can you clean and, um, and dry your salad, your lettuce in there, but then you use the same bowl and go ahead your and make salad. your salad. Exactly, and that was one of the big things. And I mean, this isn't even a big salad that I'm making here. This is a, a like a salad for four, but you can yeah. do a salad for eight in here. And I like to just mix it right. This is really important to us when we developed this was to turn this into mm -hmm. a mixing bowl, the largest mixing bowl you'll have in your kitchen. And we go there, and then of course, yeah. There's a Pop lid. It right in the fridge because we got a lid. So good. They're so <laughs> good. Um, okay, we're going to show you a little bit more because, like you said, you can use this for a lot of different right. things, not just salad, not just regular lettuce. Right. But we do have it at a New Year's price and free shipping, and you've got it on Flex Pay. So you can get this home for $13.32. So, so you've got mushrooms. I've got mushrooms. Now, there's a myth. Mm -hmm. And I learned, I learned a little bit of this from Jacques Pepin that you can actually rinse your mushrooms. A lot of people think you have to stand in the kitchen, wipe right. them with towels. Yeah. But let me tell you, with this salad spinner, yeah. you do not need to do that. Okay. Don't waste your time anymore, okay. ladies. You're gonna rinse it in the sink using your colander. You're gonna pop it right in your salad spinner and you're just gonna spin it dry. Just and like that's this. it. Yeah, because for mushrooms, this is a little insider secret. Mm -hmm. It's not about getting wet that hurts mushrooms. It's about how long they're wet. So that they don't soak up the so water? That they, exactly, because okay. they are like a sponge. Yeah. So if you just rinse them quickly, get all the dirt off, and then you throw it in your salad spinner, the centric, centri oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it draws the water out, yeah. and then you get mushrooms that are ready to cook with. And now you've got usable yeah. mushrooms. And, and I just wanna show it. you, I mean, this isn't, this isn't that much, but believe it or not, when you're trying to saute mushrooms, mm -hmm. this little bit of water, watch this. 
just that, which is probably a quarter cup. Mm -hmm. That's gonna prevent browning of mushrooms. Oh. Just that little bit of water. Oh, okay. But you don't, but you, it doesn't matter because look, feel that. Yeah. They're dry and it's they're dry. clean. And they're clean. And you don't have to worry about, that's right. We rinsed them. And that's the deal. So it does make just the everyday cooking that mm -hmm. we do that much easier. So now we've got pasta, we, we can all relate to this. I mean, I mean, we're talking about spinning everything here, right? <laughs> yes. So I drain my pasta right in my colander, mm -hmm. put it right into my salad spinner. Okay. Or in this case. They're everything spinner. The every, or the pasta spinner. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just gonna spin it dry. Just like that. And it's just a couple of, um, you know, just a couple of pumps right there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't require a whole lot of force from you. No, so it's just I mean, it's very just simple. a finger. Yeah. A finger press. So you take it out, you got your pasta here. And, and mm -hmm. of course, the best part, you know, I'm gonna take out oh, my, wow. I'm gonna pour it into this little bowl here. Yeah. And then what I'm gonna show you is, once again, just like we did with our kale salad, mm -hmm. wipe it right out. And it's ready to go. And it's ready again. to make. One of my favorite things in the whole world, which is any pasta, pasta salad. Okay. So it's an Italian thing. You get your pasta, you get your cheeses, your meats, your peppers. You want to help me add this yeah, stuff here? Yeah, absolutely. We got some parsley, so parsley some roasted there. red bell peppers. I'm gonna get the dressing ready. Okay. And, and is that um, salami? Salami. Okay. So we got a little soppressata in there, spicy. Mm -hmm. And you just mix it. And why? the reason why I wanted to show this was because not only is it one of my favorite recipes, but this is one of the ultimate potluck recipes that you'll ever make. And the best part was, look, you drained your pasta in the colander. Yes. You put it in the salad spinner. You dried it. Uh-huh. You mixed it in here. And of course, because you have the lid. Yeah. The super convenient lid, you put it right on top, and this either goes in the refrigerator, yep. or it goes to your sister's house, yep. or it goes to your mother-in-law's house mm -hmm. for your barbecue. And it looks good, <laughs> and you only use one bowl, that's it. You didn't have to use multiple things in your kitchen with like a like a colander and the whole nine yards and mm -hmm. transfer the bowls. You don't need plastic wrap to cover it when you're taking it or when you're putting it in the refrigerator because it does come along with its lid. It's all contained. So I understand why you wanted to call it the everything spinner. Um, we do call the salad spinner, that's what you're gonna use it probably for first, but then after that, use it for everything else. Yes, including, including. reviving wilted herbs or greens, like lettuces. Really? So you can see here this, we've all had this happen. Okay. You buy parsley, it's $2 a bunch. Yeah. You get it home, you forget to put it in the refrigerator, 30 minutes later, yeah. it's wilted. Okay. But this is from that exact same bunch of parsley, and all I did was I filled my handy dandy salad spinner uh -huh with water. Okay. And then I put my parsley in there and I let it soak for 30 minutes and look at how fresh it looks. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you could yeah. do that. And the reason I like to do this is because if you put it in the colander right in the bowl, you lift it. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. And give it a shake. And then of course, I'm gonna walk over to the sink really okay. quick here. Okay, and then you can pour out you all, pour all of that all water. all this water. That was so good. But this works for everything. It works for parsley, it works for um, mescaline, it works for your bib lettuce, your iceberg lettuce, anything that, oops. Oh, yeah, we have to put the bottom yeah, in there. Yeah, I gotta yeah. put the bottom back in, but right. you get the point. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what, and I'm glad that you showed us too, because again, we're learning, and that's what mm -hmm. we do. That, you know, you're, you're teaching us, but also showing us that we've got the right tools, and it's easy, easy, easy to do. Mm -hmm. um, I know that our, we're quickly coming, coming to a close, but you've got berries in there. I got berries. And the spring is coming, the berries are going to be in season, and this is the quickest way to wash them, drain them, and have them ready to eat. Yeah, and the best part is because of the colander, the dish here, the colander that sits inside the basket, is just slightly elevated so it allows air to circulate. Mm -hmm. And so forget buying those fancy strawberry things that have the holes in it that you put in the refrigerator. Yeah. You could just put it right in here. It's strawberry season down here in Florida. Yeah. And you put your lid on it. And this works for blueberries. It yeah. works for your blackberries. Oh, this is so good. It works for all of it. And I know that our clock is gone, but I want to make sure you go ahead and pick this one up because it, it is going to be just a perfect accompaniment to go along with everything that you picked up from food and wine, from the spice mills to the 10-piece cookware set, and now to your salad spinner so enjoy that and I know that Justin we are gonna see you a little bit later on today yes all right so we will see you um, throughout the day stay on the phone for oh no, no no we've got one more item one more <laughs> item I'm sorry I thought the hour was over um, definitely stay on the phone for that salad spinner you know what I got distracted because everybody in the studio is walking around with beef bourguignon and, <laughs> and s'mores snacking. and save me some everyone is snacking on everything I know it's just so good okay take a look at this this is your um, electric diamond wheel knife sharpener 
everybody needs a knife sharpener because you might have really great sharp knives when you first buy them, but after you've used them for, and not, you know, it doesn't take years for the knife to go dull. You know, it's, it's important to have a nice sharp knife because the most dangerous knife in the kitchen is a dull knife, not a sharp one. So definitely pick that one up. But speaking of knives, we do have um, this great set for you. It is seven pieces. So you're getting six knives and that amazing um, knife block set, which is so, again, beautifully modern uh, in, in your kitchen. It's very elegant. It really it's beautiful. is. beautiful. So let's talk through the knives that you're actually yeah. gonna get in this set. So the first one I'm showing you here is the workhorse. So this is your chef's knife, mm -hmm. as you can see here. Um, it, it has this beautiful curve to it, which allows you to kind of get that rocking motion on the chopping board. Um, so that's what you're gonna use for your onions and your parsley and your garlic and all that. Um, but we added some really great features here and one of them is the perforation so you see that it has the perforated blade so this prevents anything from sticking to it and then it's a little hard to see but you can see this little ridge here yeah that's a, ref a re deflector blade and that actually pushes the food off oh good yeah so okay. and I'm just showing I, you here because I've never seen that on a knife no this I think I believe we're the only people who have the combination with the perforation and the um, the deflector blade yeah and I just want to show you like look how thin this is mm -hmm. it's almost see-through it's okay. almost see-through. Mm -hmm. Can you see how thin that is? Yes. And I got that with our chef's knife. Okay. Because not only is it your workhorse, but it's gonna give you these really, really thin slices of um, salami or cheese. And look at this, this is brie, which is one of the mm -hmm. stickiest cheeses. And you can see I could peel it right off yeah. and add it right to my little cheese board this here. This is nice. Um, but then I also wanna just show you really quickly mm -hmm. how to get crazy with it with okay. your parsley. So okay. you're gonna take your herbs and this is gonna be your workhorse, your chopper. And that's why you call it the workhorse because it can, you're gonna use it probably most of all. Right, and you see how you have your chopper? Yes. So this is, the, it's actually the shape of the blade that's giving you the ability to do this rocking back and forth motion. Yeah. And that's what you're gonna wanna do when you're cutting your onions and you're cutting your parsley and you're cutting all of those things. Okay. Um, and then of course we have our santoku, mm -hmm. which I like to think of as kind of the slicer knife, but not a slicing knife, but it's more for, let's say you want to do get a little precise with your cucumbers okay. or something like that. So you could just slice right in. And this is, so if you want to make something look a little nice for a salad, yes. you might use this um, because it's really thin. Okay. And so it's great for anything that might be a little on oh, the small look at that. side. Or it just glides right through. It glides through. right through because it has this really beautiful thin tip. Okay. Which I love. Okay. And, and then you can easily go through and do more precision work with that one. Mm -hmm. Let's see, because there is one in here that you've never seen before, and that is? That is yes. our incredible mm -hmm. reverse scallop serrated blade, yes. serrated knife. Okay. And so this is really exciting. This is my favorite knife in the whole piece because it's unlike anything that we, that I believe is kind of out there now. Now there's a few uh, knives out there that are similar, but mm -hmm. none of them have all these features. So we have the reverse scallop blade, you can see here, um, which is, different than a traditional serrated blade because it doesn't just have these pokey teeth. And the pokey teeth, believe it or not, kind of shred your food. Mm -hmm. Whereas this glides through much like a slicing knife would, okay. but you still have these angles that give you a nice cut. So let me just show you really quick how, you see how look it just glides that. right through this tomato and you yes. get these like incredible thin slices? Right. I mean, it, look at that. It's not crushing or smushing the right. tomato. But it's also strong oh. enough. To cut right through a pint of ice cream. Oh my gosh. So you just cut it right through, you yeah. put it between two cookies. Is that how you make an ice cream sandwich? That's how I make an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> and you, you need it, you need your nice giant serrated blade for that, let me tell you. That is the coolest and I just, thing. <laughs> you know, I just wanted really quick, I know we don't have a lot of time, but I gotta talk about this knife block because it's incredible. Look, look at this. Do you see how it's hollow? Yeah. I could put my hand in it. Yeah. So believe it or not, a lot of the wooden blocks that you buy tend to get moldy on the inside. <gasps> Yeah. Because you put you you put a damp knife in there yeah. and it gets mildewy and gross, but here the air goes right through, circulates, dry knife, no mildew, no mold. Justin, that's brilliant. It's brilliant. And it's got the beautiful copper. You're getting those three <laughs> knives. You're also gonna get your paring knife and your slicing knife. You're getting all of them. And like I said, knives in here that you're gonna use, again, every day in the kitchen, some that you've never seen before, and you even have a New Year's price on that. So really, 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 this has been a great hour of food and wine and taking advantage of really outfitting your kitchen with the latest and greatest and the easiest to work with. So Justin, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you again at 9 a.m. Yes, all we'll right. be back here. With some other great things from food and wine. <laughs> I hope that you'll stay with us. I'm gonna be back on the other side of this quick break because we've got some great jewelry from Carol Brody. Say hello to something new. New is
is smart. New is gorgeous. New is delicious. New is so you. Shop now and discover the perfect new for you. Here at HSN, we base our retail 